Hey, Steve Taco, and today I'm just going to be going over a uh, future update and future plans for Prodigy Drift that were announced. Um, so first off, the, there's going to be a coming update. Um, hopefully, it says soon, but I it's probably going to be like two or three weeks is my guess, maybe sooner. Um, but it'll be kind of a smaller update, just adding stuff that wasn't added in the, in the winter update pretty much. Um, so the stock wheels will finally get added for the new cars, uh, which is nice. I know they wanted to add it with... Uh, you know, winter update were on Christmas, but they were having some difficulties or some errors with the wheels, but those should be added soon. The MX-5 will, get, will be getting a BN body kit along with a couple other mods, which is really nice, especially for it being a surprise car. Um, I talked about it in the review, but the only thing holding back the car was the lack of mods, which I didn't blame them for. So it's, it's fantastic that they're adding that. Um, the FC Arc 7 will get a couple exhaust op uh, options similar to the 350Z, so if, you, if you're familiar with those exhausts, you'll know what's coming for that car. And of course, they'll be adding some more codes, uh, and uh, when the update comes out, I'll be sure to get those for you guys. Now for future plans for the game, they'll be adding interiors, uh, which will be eventually customizable as well, because right now, all, for all the cars, the, the windows are just tinted and like reflective pretty much. Um, so that, that'll be cool to have. Uh, I'm guessing it'll probably be later in the year. But um, it's, it's cool that they plan to add that. Next thing is they'll be adding a day and night cycle and lights on cars, which I'm excited for. And that does include like indicators. I'm looking forward to, you know, those pop up headlights. That'll be that'll be pretty cool. Um, I assume it'll just be a door it just says day night but i assume it'll just be a normal day and night cycle the next thing it'll will be steering settings and improvements uh, i'm not sure exactly what will be will be changed for that um and i'm kind of hesitant what they're going to do for that but for now it'll just remain neutral what i'm just hoping for is that they'll kind of reduce the snappiness of a lot of the cars in the game and just change um kind of modifications that you can make to you know how the car how you, like the car control like with the suspension setup and stuff like that um but the next thing is uh drift teams which will be purchase purchasable with in-game cash which i'm really happy about um and you can set a team tag such as pdr is what the example that they gave and that'll probably be displayed as a chat tag um so i'm really looking forward to that I know there's a lot of drift teams that have been um, coming into the scene, so they're probably really excited about that as well. Now the next thing is the remodeling of a few cars, and some earlier cars are getting some uh, modifications. Uh, so, and the cars that they plan to do this for are the C6 will, will be getting more mods, the FDR X7 will be getting more mods, and the Arc 4 Super will be getting remodeled. Now personally, I don't think think there's anything wrong with the mark 4 super model but if they plan to make it even better i see no issues with that at all so i'm really looking forward to that and of course they plan to add uh, new maps new cars and new mods in general now there's a small teaser uh for the next map map which will be a uh, tug uh and begins with a g and i have some inside information for for a potential with a potential map put it on the screen it'll be called gunstai and it looks pretty interesting um i'm kind of excited for that there's like i wonder if it'll be timed or, or if they have any special features that will be will become uh with the map but for now we don't really know anything and one thing that i forgot to mention is that they're gonna improve the game economy and balancing now i think they're gonna make it easier for uh, newer players to get mods and start you know drifting have an easier time getting into the game so i think uh which i think will help retain uh the newer player base and kind of help stay in the game for longer which i think is a really good thing uh i think that's a good, really help for the longevity of the game but that's pretty much it for all the the future update and the future plans for party gg for 2024 now on my end for this channel there's a couple of things that i did want to go, go over uh now like a week or so ago i said i was going to do um a two million consecutive drift point challenge like I did with the 1 million um, and I still plan on doing that but the grinding for the winter event to get all the mods is taking a lot longer uh, than I thought it would be but hopefully um, I'll be able to finish it by the end of this week 
or early next week and then I'll be able to do the challenge um, like two weeks or so from now um, and I'm guessing that will take the challenge will take about four four and a half hours is my estimate but yeah after I finish getting all the mods for this winter event and just going over everything um, this channel will be back to the regularly scheduled videos I know that stuff will be kind of lacking right now because I'm just to be honest I'm just kind of grinding right now so yeah that's pretty much it uh, for today hope you enjoyed and have a great day